Hello, this is Nikki Zick. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this orchid painting using mixed media colored pencils and watercolor. So this is a reference that I did so we could all look together. And I sketched very lightly a pencil drawing of the composition of the orchid in the pot at the bottom. So we're going to start off with the paint and for the pencils that I have is a new set that I got from Amazon called Artisto. And it's a set of 48 colored pencils that are water soluble. And I swatched them and they're really great. You could use them alone without watercolors and just do a drawing and then use a wet, clean water brush and it turns into watercolor. It's really excellent. But this is a mixed media. So we're going to start off, <clears throat> excuse me, with our light purple flower and just do an indication of a flower and leave a center for the yellow. We'll do one and we'll do, we'll concentrate on this stem first and then we'll go on to the other side. So this side has three. I mean the other side has three, this side has two. It's a little late right now for me to be doing this, but I'm anxious to show you. So this petal is still wet, and now I have a darker purple pencil that I'm going to go in and draw on the wet paint. And as I do this, the paint, the pencil glides on the paint, and it has a weird sensation that you really have to experience. It's it's exciting. It's It's just different. It's just... It's not like painting at all. It's not like colored pencil at all. It's just a mixed sensation. I'm also going to show you, you could dip your pencil in water and paint with your pencil. You just see? Dip it in here. And I can add some darks with this pencil. Some shadows underneath. Okay, we're going to be using this pencil again. So now we'll work on the other side, doing the three flowers, starting with the violet paint, doing very lightly the petal indication, leaving the center empty so we can add the golden yellow. Here's the second flower. And then lastly, the third on the left side. Okay, then we're going to go in with our dark purple and go around petals. We do a squiggly line. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's just the indication that these are orchids. And later we'll, first we'll go around into the wet paint and draw the details, outlines. Is a nice wet section and the paint will just the color pencil will just absorb the water it's lovely here's the last orchid okay now we're going to go into the paint the water and paint with the pencil we'll add the darks overlapping here we'll add some more darks in the center here let the paint pencil again in the water and paint with the pencil okay as that dries we'll go into the branch of the plant and I made it a green so we'll go into green and brown we'll go down gently here here down the other and then we'll do the leaves In a very watery green. You can mix two greens together. We'll do the other side. When you mix colors, it gives a lot of interest. That's why I'm adding the lighter green and the darker green. Just 
them. Okay, now we're going to go in with the darker green pencil. Go down the stem and just sketch. We'll go on the right side first. I painted that. And I'm going to go in and shade with the pencil. I'm going to go on this side and shade in where I want darks. You could do a vein down the leaf, or you could shade. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to go into the yellow centers of our orchids. I'm mixing golden yellow and orange together. You don't want too much on your brush. Actually, I'm using a <clears throat> too large brush. We'll go back in very delicately with the yellow. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you something really great. We're going to use a pencil all by itself for the bottom holder planter. So right now I'm going to st sketch with the golden ochre pencil on the bottom. doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go heavy on the right so it will be darker when we add the water. So right now, I'm going across, drawing the planter with one color pencil. You could do crisscross, crosshatch. Okay, now I have a wide paintbrush, clean water, and watch. It blends all of your pencil sketches into watercolor. Watch for the green. You don't want bleeding. Or maybe you do, but right now I don't want bleeding. And as you see, the colored pencil turned into watercolor. Lovely. You can blot off. Just like regular watercolor. Okay, now we're going to go into the background. And we're going to do that also with pencils. So... I'm going to start with this light blue, sky blue pencil, and just do a sketch, a horizontal, diagonal sketch. Go around the flowers, go down the flower center, all around the flower, use this light blue diagonal sketch. Go up until where there should be a table, around the whole flowers with the light blue. Then I'm going to go into a medium blue and go so it's deeper in the center of my flowers here and in here. You can even go in here if you want and a little on the bottom around the, the planter with the darker blue. Okay, now we're gonna do magic with our paintbrush. Dipped in water. We'll start on the right, the left, and go down and watch it just turn into paint. Bring your paint from your pencil into your flowers. Now we're going to go down the center. We'll start at the bottom and go up, and you'll see the dark blue blends into the light blue. Go to the right of it. That's where we added the darker blue pencil. Clean your brush. Go into the light. Blend it up. Blend it into the light blue, sky blue pencil. Blend in your blue. You could always also layer as this dries if you want to go back. And add a deeper tone or make it darker. Wait completely for your artwork to dry. And then overlay with more pencil sketches and water. Okay. Now that is done. We just need to add the table. 
before I used a little reddish brown, but now I'm going to use a deeper. This is the brown I think I used last time. And I just did a diagonal move, movement with the crayon pencil. Well, it's not a crayon. It's a colored pencil. I'm going to add another brown so we can have two colors into mixing. And I'll do it the other way. This is more like a burnt umber. Because I want the table to really be brown. Not red. Or not burgundy. Okay, now we're going to go with our wet paintbrush and just go across. And then you see our table appear. Sometimes I like to leave some of the paintbrush, the pencil marks showing. And there you have it. Our orchid in a pot on a table using mixed media, colored pencils, and watercolor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.